What's going on, guys? This is A Baby, and I'm chilling here with my Lao bro, Muhammad Anwar, and you're listening to the Muhammad Anwar Project. You have a prepaid call from an inmate at California Substance Abuse Treatment Facility and State Prison at Corcoran in Corcoran, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using... All right, my name's Edmino Jr. Contreras. I'm in Corporate Sadef, serving a life sentence. I'm eligible for parole next year. I got convicted of a 211 robbery, committing a crime for a benefit of a gang. However, throughout these years, I have made my changes in my life. Not that I don't forget where I come from. I'll never forget my roots or my people or the homies or look down on people, but I have made a change in my life. I have let go of the destructive lifestyle. You can find me uh, as you see my pictures. I'll be posting more pictures up. If you have any questions, you can contact me. I just want to say to all the troubled youth and troubled uh, kids and girls out there, just remember to always, just to remember always value your family and friends and say no to drugs and gangs because at the end of the day, when you're locked up, when your family's going to be the one that's there by your side. Okay, and to the trouble you out there and whoever else is having uh, any sort of problems, do you have any questions for this gentleman? I this contact information uh, is on the screen. Uh, you'll see it. And um, for any ladies out there that want to write to this gentleman, you know, uh, it gets lonely in there. So feel free to write him, you know, uh, as well. Can you uh, explain on your childhood, your upbringing, how you grew up, and uh, what what led you to join Crown Town? When, when, I, when, when yeah. I grew up, as, when I was growing up as a kid, I grew up on 5th and Sheridan in Corona, Crown Town, Circle City. I joined a gang at 12 years old, those weeks from Edel's gang. For those that know me, I'm, uh, they call me criminal. But today I just go by a junior. Um, I changed my life around. God bless me. God, uh, God, Jesus Christ is my savior today. Uh, I grew up in Circle City with my parents. My dad passed away in 2010. I have my mom and my sisters. They live their happy lives. Growing up as a kid, I experienced a lot of violence at home, being abused by my father. He was an alcoholic. The culture influences around me as a kid, what I saw with my eyes, I believed I had to follow it. I joined a gang at 12 years old and went to the California Youth Authority at 13 years old. Got out when I was 19. I used to, I used to be a South Sider, ran around with the Sorenos in prison. I pulled away from that lifestyle because my gang that I was from became a clean light gang out there in Corona. And however, I don't forget my homies, I don't forget my club, but I pulled away from them and I chose to drop out of the gang life because I couldn't continue pushing that line because of the gang that I was from, for whatever reasons they made, they made some bad calls where a green light was hit on us and it followed us to the streets, to prison. And I was forced to change my life and come to these yards where I'm at today, which is beautiful because today people are people, and who am I to judge someone else? We're all humans of imperfections. We're all human beings. Today I'm at peace with myself and everybody else around me. I'm no longer from a gang or a gang member, but I did run around with the Sureños in prison, and I just hope that all Sureños and big homies, they could all make a change one day and, you know, leave the drugs alone and live a beautiful life out there in the streets with your family, not in prison. We need to be out there building our families and our community, not the prison. I just want to say to all the big homies and Southsiders, even though I have changed and made my, my life to my family and I dedicate my time, my value, my family today. I just want you guys to know that I don't think I'm better than you guys or or I don't look down on you guys. I just hope that the big homies and all the Southsiders could one day say, you know what, prison ain't a business. Our business is our family, staying on the streets, keeping the youth out on the streets and, and building, instead of us killing each other and selling drugs to each other, we could make money and build positive homes for, for our kids and our children instead of 
killing each other, we can help each other and, and set programs up for each other. Hopefully one day that can happen. And I just want to say to everybody out there, it's not healthy to hate one another. It's, it's evil. I once lived that life. I used to be hateful towards blacks. I used to be, if you weren't Mexican, you weren't right. However, today I've changed. And I'm thankful that God has opened up my eyes. I grew up in Corona, California. I was involved with the gang life of Los Fisioneros gang. Uh, my name used to be criminal, but I just go by Junior. Uh, I don't forget my city. I don't forget my hometown. I don't forget my people, my friends. However, change is possible. I let go of that life. I just want to say to everybody out there that change isn't easy. I know it's a struggle. I know we all touch a hard life out there, but change is possible. So I hope that people that are hearing my voice can make a change. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And also, when I was convicted of a two eleven robbery for a criminal uh, criminal gang activity, I was sentenced to twenty five life. But under Prop fifty seven I am now eligible for parole next year in March twenty twenty three. I am hoping to get out and make things right with my family. I just want to say to all the homies out there, to all um, people out there, change is possible. Don't give up on yourselves. Don't let drugs get the best of you. But I also want to say to the homies that are out there doing their thing, I ain't any better than anybody. I've just made my changes today where I just pulled away and let go of the gang life so I could live my life with my family and my family be a responsible person. I, I've experienced violence in prison. I've experienced riots. Uh, prison ain't a place to be. Uh, however, things have changed. I've lowered my points while I'm on a lower level. Uh, I'm a facilitator for CGA, Criminals Gang Members Anonymous. And I just want to say to those that struggle, Change is possible when you're going through it. Find someone to talk to. You don't give up or go to church or call a sponsor. Find someone you trust, someone you could admit your problems to. Don't just beat yourself up. Gangs will always be around. Gangs are our family. But also know that your real friends won't lead you to trouble. A real friend's going to lead you the right way and build you the right way. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I want to say to the troubled youth out there, the world that hear my voice, please respect your parents. Please respect your family. Please respect your loved ones. Say no to drugs. Stay away from the gang lines. At the end, when you find yourself locked up in that cop car, you're going to be crying out to God to help you or you're going to be crying to your mom or to your dad on the phone to get you out of jail or out of juvenile hall. Please pull away while you can because coming to prison, you're only going to beg your family to take care of you or your wife to take care of you. We need to be, you need to be out there, not in here. So to the troubled youth that hear my voice, I just want to tell you guys, don't make bad choices and decisions. Choose your family. Choose your kids, choose your grandparents, choose your loved ones, and, and change all you can. Because at the end of the day, when you find yourself locked up or dead or dying, you're going to be crying out to your family, not to your homies. When you're staying there shot a few times, I've been shot six times. I've experienced death already. I died and came back. I got shot by the police, and the first thing I seen was my mom and my family. So I just say to the youth out there, change, change all you can, and appreciate everything your parents do for you. Appreciate waking up to your mom, appreciate what you have, appreciate waking up in your home. You don't want to come to prison and wake up and live with a bunch of dudes you don't know, a bunch of people that's just going to use you and tell you what to do. Prison ain't the place to be, juvenile hall ain't the place to be, why well, ain't the place to be. To be down is to be a responsible person, a responsible human. Be down for your family. That's who needs you. They are your jewels. That's what's most precious in life is your family. So to the youth that hear my voice, change all you can because change is possible. Don't let other people be 
the only other people control you for your streams. Be your own man. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Uh, I grew up all over 4th Street, in and out of prison, in and out of juvenile hall, in and out of YA. Uh, I was lost. I didn't know any better. I, 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 all I believed in was a destructive life. I was obsessed with drugs and guns and crimes. But today I realized, you know, the beauty in life. And I want to be there for my family. My daughter, Danielle, that has grown up. If she hears my voice, I love you, baby. I'm sorry for not being out there for you and to my family that I let down. I apologize for the bad things I've done. And to the community of Riverside County, I'm sorry for the bad things I've done. But I'm going to make things better by getting out and showing people that change is, change is possible by continuing to live my 12 steps and my recovery, which is Criminal Gang Members Anonymous. I'm a facilitator to that program, and I want to carry on my uh, my vision. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Do you have any uh, shout-outs for anyone out here, any family or friends? I just want to say to my daughter, Danielle Elizabeth Contreras, she, I love you, baby. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry for not being out there. I want to say to my sisters, to my brothers, I love you guys. I'll be home soon. I just want to make a shout out to all the homies in Corona and Crown Town, Riverside County. Hey, man, make a change. Stay off the streets. Be responsible. Work. Take care of your family. Stay away from drugs. Drugs isn't the business. The business is your family. Choose well and make right choices. Don't don't be like me making bad choices where you later on sit here in, in a regretful state of mind. I just want to say to my daughters, Mother Viviana, sorry for all the bad things I did, but I'm very proud of you. You've done a good job with our daughter. I just, I love my family. I love my mom, Lilia. My mom's name is Lilia. I love you guys. And to all my homies that passed away from the Visioneros gang, I love you guys. You guys will always be remembered in my heart. But I just want to say, change is possible. And step one, where I'm at my recovery, you always admit, admit to another person or to another human being that I am the problem and I've been a problem, but I've come to believe that change is possible and I've made some better choices in my life and that is getting out of the gang life and being there for my family. And so I love my mother, Zelia, I love my sister, Vanessa, my sister, Yvette, my daughter, Danielle Elizabeth, and to my brother, Rick, big Chupi from Corona, he's out in Mexico. I love you, bro. I love my sister, Erica. And to those kids that are listening to me, prison ain't the business, juvenile ain't the business. It's just make make it right and understand that prison ain't a life to be. It's your family. It's what's important. Waking up at home, smelling fresh coffee, eating something healthy instead of waking up in prison, eating some stale-ass food. <laughs> I just want to say, you know, to my homegirl, Sonia, your brother just passed away, Joseph, Miranda, Pabs, Wolf, you miss you, bro, Pelon, my big homie, Pelon, passed away, Birdie, my brother, Freak, got killed by the police in Corona in 2012. I love you, brother, rest in peace. And to all my other homies that were involved in violence that passed away, I love you guys all. Little Crazy, rest in peace. Bugsy, rest in peace. Bandit, rest in peace. And to all the homies in Riverside and Corona, don't hate on each other, man. Make a, make a change and love love what you have. It's your family and your kids. Don't go into prison. This, this thing, prison ain't the place to be, man. It's nothing but violence in here. Today, I've joined a group, CGA, Criminals and Gang Members Anonymous, where I teach and I facilitate I facilitate the lifestyle of addiction, the OCP, the obsession, compulsion, progression. And also, I teach the, the tunnel vision, you know, what's more important to us, you know, our families or the streets. You have 60 seconds remaining. I love, I love my daughter, Danielle. I'm sorry for not being there for you while you're growing up. I've been in prison for your whole life. I love you, baby. I just want to say to people that are listening to my voice, I've done a lot of bad things in my life. I've, by me 
sharing what I'm doing. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. By me sharing what I'm sharing with you people is a way of me giving back for all the bad things I've done in my city. I apologize to my victim's family. I robbed them. His name's Jacob. Jacob, if you're listening to me, I'm sorry for robbing you on that day. I grew up, I was programmed to rob people all my life. I believe that if you were rich, I had to take from you and give to the poor. However, I was wrong for doing that, and it's not okay to take from people. If you want to work, work and get a job. That's being a man. And if you guys have girlfriends and babies, be responsible and love them, because when you get locked up, you're going to be here and they're going to be out there. You're going to be here stressed out, worrying about an email or a phone call. With that said, I just want to say God bless everybody out there. And I love everybody out there. All my homies are listening out there. Carlitos, little rebel, I love you, bro. To all the Picas in Corona, I'll never forget you guys. The town I live in will always be a part of my heart. However, I have to move on and live a better life for me and my family. And I have to on from, from what I did wrong. So I just want to apologize to everybody that I ever hurt in my life. God bless. Today I'm looking forward on getting out. So I just want to say I love everybody out there, to all my homegirls, to all my homeboys. I love you guys. Junior Contreras, criminal from Corona, California.